job to put a pin and make headway. Minute by minute!
call on that. Save more if they knew they were slaves, but they're true to their ways. We could have saved more if they knew they were slaves and truly engaged, but they're true to their ways. We could have saved more if they knew they were slaves and truly engaged, but they're true to their ways. Sin popped the cherry and begat a damnation. Involuntary emancipation. Man, I'm just pacing. Amidst the man I'm facing. My standing station We give standing ovation We didn't ask for this shit In a way the movement lost its way When it lost chain With the aid of US Green Beret 10, 9, 6, 7, the execution day I exhume Che From the throat I spit no to guerrilla warfare Feel no remorse here Feel the source here Even the score here 40 acres in a tool And we're pushing for more shares When Bush brings a leak I'm checking for four stairs Involuntary Emancipation The market free for white corp to do whatever it wants You're free to spark weed mixed with Arab corner store blunts Tall tales from Katrina news exaggerate scenes Fell to speaker cops looting and bagging New Orleans A power elite will shower the street Devour and creep until I defeat Lord of mercy, repeat The power elite will shower the street Devour and creep until I defeat Lord of mercy Yes, we detest, but less we test, collect the best, and we address this effing mess, we will arrest this contest, and we invest progress, must sweat, but let no regrets to attest. Involuntary emancipation. See, we could have saved more, but they didn't know they were slaves. I don't even think they cared that they were slaves. We could have saved more if they knew they were slaves, were truly engaged, but see, they're true to their ways. Involuntary emancipation. I must confess sadly, whether it's the next tragedy or maybe next year or perhaps just the next tier I said I must confess sadly whether we're talking about the next tragedy or maybe next year or perhaps just the next tier perhaps not very long after the stench from the beloved shells of the dead have gone and rotten midst the next slice of hell the living dead will have forgotten 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 please believe me it's easy after all we're just refugees see yes we're all just refugees trust when i say all it's in the sense of us not all in the sense of y'all no Essentially what I'm discerning is if mother sent a great natural burning to the alleys and avenue of Mount Vernon, I too would be a refugee. A hearty look goes right before you descend, you naughty, crooked, spiteful, spiteful children. The great mother has been dissed, mistreated, mom is pissed. She's heated, she's blown a top, she's dysfunctional from global warming. The noble warning, your scientists told you, and now that she's vocal, unstoppable scorn. From the pit of her belly, she spits tropical storms. But look, it's not like you weren't warned, you wrote the book. Involuntary, Involuntary emancipation. emancipation. See, we couldn't save those cats, cause they didn't think they, they were slaves. They were the ones that knew that they didn't care that they were slaves. There wasn't nothing that we could do. Nothing we could do. And then bombs cry, moms cry. As they mourn in the morn, I rise to rise, raise despite the craze. Let the Almighty be praised. And don't choose the news, why bother these days? The extent of the third George's tour, the intent of the third world war. George won't relent from the oppressed, he's a dreaded pestilent. He's worth more than a hand in a blend of other dead presidents. So says the misled residents dwelling in this dead residence, and this is my testament. As I spit on dead presidents, it's been hell since the moment he stole office. And L was drove in the red, white, and blue old coffin. The few, the proud, grew in numbers and started to come round more often. It's a police state, an overseas thug. Safe, P take. When do we seek the uptake? Everybody's buying plastic and duct tape. It's drastic enough to drive an old nut straight. Frustrate, frustrated, frustration. But you must wait, friend, because fools rush straight and becoming fool for the take and time and is true consideration, or else face ruthless obliteration. You must wait, friend. friend.
I'm trying to wake up and live, make some money off dreams and see that he's been making off my dreams. You know, she's been the head doing everything I do. Electricity is no good. You know, I ain't going to go for nothing like that. I pull a plug out. You know what's going to be happening. You know, we have ones that's been waking up the world. You don't want me to go sleep. Just pull a plug out of you and you'll be dead. I got a few homes and dreams. It was back in 1930 something. You know, the piano roll. I went to buy somebody's house. A woman was making love to a computer. She didn't have no
just your every Saturday night my eyes were in flight Caught upon this sister not because she was wearing a few strands She looked out of place so I stepped to her face Or rather to her side I've been peeping you since I arrived Would you remove your blue Oh, we're about to go live She obliged and I took it to a It's about to go down It's the journey Uh, family, I hope you plugged in See into the minds I see into the sky We're listening to Brother Malik Oh, man you all already know for a fact we about to move on over to our home. We're going to Giami Journey. GNJ.media. 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 Let me go. I'm going to go and, and I'm just going to. I'm going to go and post it up for you. So you get over here. You can join the tribe. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't, I'm, I'm not doing no more no streams over here, no live streams. We're not doing no live streams, fam. Let go, let go, retro. Remember, we were prone to flip the script in a relationship so quick. We're talking supersonic, we're just merely platonic. It's ironic. We were just kicking around the ideas of having a whole life to live, live, live without being tied down. Well, you're living with me now. You're well, you're living with me now. In the dark and uh, the baby's what? Too bad the relationships malnourished if we started right. I suppose we would have flourished, and we can if we build a base and proceed with courage. I'd love to say I love you. I believe I do and must. But if there were no baby, then would there be an us? Collect the data. Mind over matter. Love over lust. Woo! Na, 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 na. Nah, nah. Just click the link. Come on over. We about to kick it. It's about to go down. GNJ Media. GNJ Media. Oh snap. Remember, come over to gnj.media. It's about to go down. <clears throat> what is a lion? Oh, there's a horrible delay. There's a horrible delay. What is a whale without his pod? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a try. Pray.
women, but the most important goddesses were black. Not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, the woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her, is Circe, who is represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vases. The woman who helps Jason win the Golden Fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, Family, yo, thank you for joining us. Right, and I'm thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course. Come and learn about Gianni's journey, see some of the stuff we do. Come and join the tribe. The tribe up with us and check out the free e-course. We'll make sure that the URL pop up right about here. And it'll probably be somewhere in here. Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Gianni's journey, and let's build together. For Baragani, Bomb Skin & Co. is the true definition of self-care, self-love, and repeat. We are what we create in this life. Bombskin & Co. chooses to create something innovative and unforgettable. Check out our website for more information. Spirit Over Flesh LLC is a wellness-based business where we heal through words. I'm Tiandra. I'm the founding servant leader. It is a black owned, woman owned business that was founded in Ohio, but that can serve the world. Um, through virtual sessions, either by phone or video conference, we have a conversation. We always start with a 15 minute consult where we just make sure that I learn a little bit about you, you learn some about me, and then we schedule some time to be intentional about your wellness journey. During the time, it's about education and empowerment. You are your own best doctor from within. So I'm literally someone who is just intentional in the space and drawing questions out of you to get you further on your wellness journey. Sessions are typically starting at $80, but if you mention Kwanzaa 2020, we're gonna go ahead and take 20% off. It's about getting you well so that we can be well, right? Kuji Chagalia and Ujima, collective responsibility. So grateful for the opportunity to support you in your wellness journey. If you're interested, go to my website, spiritoverfleshllc.com. There's a button that says, let's connect, fill out the form and I'll get right back to you. Again, that's spiritoverfleshllc.com. I look forward to supporting you in your wellness journey and healing through words. Are you heading 
out of town or have a special occasion? What about birthdays, anniversaries, or reunions? Get the best deals and inexpensive rental car rates, mid-sized sedans, compact cars, and more. We have a variety of fleet vehicles to accommodate any and all of your rental car needs. Make a reservation today at your local budget rental car on Hamilton Road in Whitehall. Call 614-863-7500. Kwanzaa. I'm Carla and my sister Karen and I own two natural sisters. We've been in business for five years and we sell a line of natural bath body and candle products. Let's take a look. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Two Natural Sisters. All items that are in stock will be shipped within 24 to 48 hours. As a promotional item, we offer a CD of black romantic poetry of self-love and coupled love and 50% discount on Sister Locks, Brother Locks by consultant Sapphire Donetta Mahati. If you have any questions, you can reach us at customercare at twonaturalsisters.com. Enjoy and happy Kwanzaa. Oh, uh, we about to go live. We about to go live on GJ Time Media. Uh, we don't look like nobody over here. So I go and get those off of here. Get those channels up off of here. As a celebratory art experience that exudes hella blackness. Initially, the company was founded to provide a luxurious but affordable art experience and it since transformed itself into something a bit more spiritual. By walking in what I believe to be my truth, I've been able to get in contact with my ancestors and use my platform and my art, my gift, to tell their untold stories. I do that by using different textures, by utilizing different mediums, colors, and just making things pop out so that it's open for interpretation. I love, 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 love creating. Sources. And I can't wait to be of service to you. Thank you. I am a genius. My ancestors were geniuses. My ancestors have made me a genius in all that I think, say, and do. I must declare myself a genius. I am a genius. Whenever I am myself, I practice my geniusness and do great things. All my thoughts, Choices indeed. We're clicking them off one at a time. All the way down. Oh, sorry, my Africa TV. My decisions must always be in the best interest of myself, my family, my people, and my God. Sorry, I Twitch. I and everyone I know know that I am a genius. Oh my God, YouTube! Oh, YouTube! You At gotta go. Times, my geniusness must reflect my culture. Oh, my sorry, Facebook. Oh my God, Jamie Journey Media. We love you, though. We be one in love and. Oh, I tell people. Oh, my peoples, my peoples. My people. I'm sorry. Yes, at all times. Oh, man. Because I am a genius. Oh, the hot Tim page. Oh, the sorry. You gotta go. Folk tell for grown folks, guess what? Oh, no. You gotta go. Who creates accessories that have intentional messaging. Our specialty are buttons. Buttons can be weared anywhere. On a buttons shirt. On a book bag. On a hat. The beautiful thing about buttons is that you can... Change so them crazy. and switch it up depending on your mood or the day. For election day, we wore a very intentional button. Damn, on my book bag, on my student's here. book bag, it says, you are already intelligent. Educate yourself. Buttons are empowering with the messages that we create. Again, we do them very intentionally. At the Purpose Dri Driven Society, we're minding our Black-owned business and hope that you'll help mind ours too by doing business with us. Our buttons go for $3 for one, five for two, $7 for three. But if you mention Kwanzaa 2020, we're doing a special where you'll get a 
an assortment of buttons for just $20 and will ship anywhere in the country. So again, that's The Purpose Driven Society. We can be re reached at The Purpose Driven Society at Outlook.com. Send us an email and we will put together a very intentional bag of buttons for you and ship it straight to your home. Happy Kwanzaa. Thanks for doing business with us. Let's get it without further ado. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, it's time to grab the last family inside. Let's get started. I'm so excited. Sitting up here, kids, magic. Yeah, magic rock. Shots out. Here we go. Drink your water. Come on, come on. Drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath, take your breath. Now, grab your glass for some water. Grab your glass. Lift your pitcher of that water. Or a bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh -huh. Simply pour some water. Drink, 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 drink. drink or should water. I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water, fam. Just, Just move, move your, your body. body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, move, move, move then your body, drink. Move your, move your body. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Oh, raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Let's oh. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, raise, toast, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body, come on, come on. Toast your ancestors, drink up. Come on, drink it, drink it, drink it. Come on, you do it. Come on, drink it, lift it, drink it. Come on, drink that health in. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Take your breath. Take your breath. Take your breath. Lift and pour. 
Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it, pour. Come on, pour it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink your water. Oh, man. What a beautiful day to be here. Giami Journey family, I am so glad to be here with you. I see some of y'all came over. We had we, we had a lot of people over here this morning. We got a lot of people still here. A few people. You know what I'm saying? If you would, go on. You know, you go and post some stuff in the comments. I will get back to you. I can see the comments over here on gnj.media. I just can't respond to them on my phone. But as far as streaming from the computer, I'm going to be able to respond. Right? Family, we got, listen, we got a new e-course. Now, according, ah, huh, we're going to have a 21-week. I don't know why I did this shit. A 21 week, two of their force. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 21 weeks is going to involve coaching. And uh, I mean, it's just, it's going to be a mixed mosh of everything. You're going to get the best out of the Giami journey. I'm just working and still putting my mind behind it. But it's an idea that I came up months, ago, well, actually, maybe years ago, because we do the 21 day Goose Saba Challenge. You know what I'm saying? And say, hey, we want to help you build a tribe or help you become part of a tribe or become a better person so that you become a better person for a tribe in 21 weeks. They ain't even half a year. You know what I'm saying? Of some of some serious work. See, because the 21 day, the 21 day thing is I'm not gonna say a myth, but it depends. You know what I'm saying? Cause it go anywhere from 21 days to 100 days. It, you know, what I'm saying that's just you know 21 days was something that somebody said and it kind of caught on. It's like an urban myth. Um, but the fact of the matter is that with 21 weeks of you being dedicated to to doing the work, we can actually produce some changes and we can actually build something that is sustainable. See, because a lot of people want, you know, programs. But one of the things we discovered years ago in doing this work is that you can't program this. This, I mean, you could program. Don't get me wrong. Like you, you could, you could pro But this is not a program. This is a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Giami's a lifestyle brand, and that's what we. You know what I'm saying? This is what we bring to the people. We bring in a different. We bring in a lifestyle. We bring in a lifestyle of health. We bring in a lifestyle. A fun, we're, we're bringing a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, of, uh, of style, you know what I'm saying, we're bringing a lifestyle uh, for for people to embrace, um, complete with holidays and feast days and stuff like that, ain't playing around these parts, ain't playing at all, so, you know, just letting y'all know, but uh, it's time for our daily toast, um, let me see. Do I have a rant for this morning? Let me see. Do we have a rant this morning, Anime? <laughs> anime say we got a rant. They feel a rant rolling up in me. So I don't know what I'm going to rant about, but this is going to be totally off the top. But all of them was off the top pretty much. So um, before I get into... My morning rant. I need to remind you that you are now standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place, excuse me, where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. 
I am your host, Brother Hot Tim. And of course, you know this is a Heart of a Simba production. And of course, it's the Daily Toast. We're a Heart of a Simba production all day, every day. Where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. I'm going to sound the war horn. We're about to go off on something. I don't know exactly what we're going to go off on, but we're going to go off on something because something is not right. Well, this morning I had the pleasure because I got up and I started listening to some of my stuff. I got up late. Now, let me tell you why. First off, before I get into it, I started my started my 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 workout regimen started my workout you know once again trying to do the workout trying to keep up trying to get myself in shape so uh well we had a debrief meeting yesterday with Gianni journey and um shouts out to miss tracy for organizing that getting it together you know you know it it, it pays it pays to have a qualified team, but once again, like I said, it's only so far you could go when it's volunteer. It's only so far you can go when it's volunteer. So family, like I said, we're gonna be we, we reaching out to you so that you know you can help us. You can help us move it from the volunteer mode to the you know full time employee mode. And of course, we're gonna be exchanging value. Like I said, we're gonna have the 20, 21 week process for you we're gonna have a, we got the 21 day process for you you know what i'm saying we already got about five books let me see let me see we got we got uh freedom within limits by brother hot tim that's me that's me i think that's me we got seven sticks which i ain't really put up yet but this is one of our story books because i keep talking to y'all about myths and importance of myths and importance of stories i haven't put this one out totally yet um we got Warriors Handbook to Life Journey, and this is a how-to book as far as building a tribe. We got Player's Pyramid. We got uh, Poetry is My Religion. Here you go, Player's Pyramid, which, is, which, 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 of course, the e-course is going to be spinning off of. Between these right here, these two books, and, uh, and of course, the, uh, the, the, uh, poor, the uh, Proverb and Quote book, uh, these two books right here. Um, of course, there's going to be some pieces from my, my big sis. Uh, we got the African Deep Thought book. And she got another book where she's going to, where I'm going to get her to go and talk about those seven universal principles. But, you know, we got, we got all types of material for you that's available for you. Yeah, here we go. I knew I seen it. She brought it to me the other day. Said like, maintaining peace and power through troubled times, by um, Sister Tara House Liam Chiganji books. And they say books that, for as far as the process, really all the processes that we do. So, but anyway, I, I'm trying to get back in shape. So we have us a, a meeting, a debrief, and um, have some discussion about some next steps. Um, Received some bad news, but you know, Trooper, I know how that, well, it ain't really bad news. Let me put the, it ain't bad at all. Actually, it's good news, but you know how you can have something happen to you that's good, but there's going to be some pain for it to happen, sort of like getting in shape. So I go on, I do, I do my run. Did, did about five miles yesterday. I got a chance to swim a little bit, like I explained last night. Got home, did the show, uh, and went to bed late. Um, shouts out to brother Kwame. Went to bed, went to bed very late. Um, I ain't gonna say very late. I went to bed. Well, I went and got into the tub because I came straight here and I started the show. And I know, you, I know y'all like brother. I tell you, where this damn ran at, man. Hold on. Slow down. Slow your roll. I got, it's coming. It's coming. Right? So, so we do the show last night. 
And the pro the folk tale that we did last night was a folk tale called The Astronomer. And we, you know, Kwame called and we had a good conversation about that. So the astronomer is a story that is like I call it a double edged sword because it it cuts on both sides. Because astron you're right, the astronomer should have had his eyes on what was going on around him. But he was so focused in what he was doing that he ended up falling into a hole. Which, one, could be a bad thing, but also it's, it's some good qualities to that too. You know what I'm saying? The, the conundrum that this astronomer was in is, the, is in a sense the very same conundrum that we are in as Giami Journey. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of hard to keep your head to the stars when you have to walk upon the earth. Because you, because we know that there's traps. We know that there's deep wells. We know that there's twigs and, and branches and rocks that we got to walk over. And if we don't pay attention to the earth, right? We don't. If we don't pay attention to the earth, it's hard for us to really be able to actually get through this journey unbruised, unmarked. But in, but in order for us to make it through this journey, we have to have somebody who has the skill, who has the ability, who has the patience to be focused on the stars. So what a tribe does is that a tribe feel, fit, fits in where other people, you know what I'm saying, where you can't watch the path, the tribe would assign somebody to, in a sense, watch the trail for you. You know what I'm saying? Take my hand. You know what I'm saying? Listen to my instructions. You keep your eyes to the clouds. You keep your eyes to the stars. I'll monitor you as we walk on the earth. This is what we need in our community. We need individuals that are focused and can get focused. Right? See, but our opposition, our enemies do not want this. They want us to continue doing the shit that we're doing part time. I want you to understand this. Alexander, the Macedonian of West Asia, right? Of a small West Asian island. Well, actually, he wasn't even from that island. Well, actually, maybe he was born on an island, but his daddy wasn't from, from that island. Alexander, the Macedonian, would have conquered what he conquered if he did it part-time. He wouldn't have did what he did if he did it part time. Neither would have Napoleon or Gandhi. You know what I'm saying? Because I because I wanted to do the war, but I also wanted to do the peace. Let's look at some of the inventors. Let's look at some of the philosophers. None of them that were able to rise in prominence were forced. Or had to do what they did part time. See, because when I'm doing it part time, I'm splitting my attention. I'm creating, uh, uh, in a sense, a split, uh, uh, a split personality, which weakens me. You know, it's like it's like coffee. Like you know, what I'm saying I like my coffee black, but if I add a little cream to it, I cut in the sense I cut the amount of coffee that I could put into the coat in, into the cup because the cream takes up space. So I'm no longer just drinking this thing, this incarnation of coffee. I'm drinking cream as well. And the cream cuts the coffee, which means it makes the coffee weaker. We want strong results using lower quality things. We want high output using low inputs of time. When that does not happen anywhere in nature. We want to change our communities, but we want to do it on two hours a week. We want to do it on the weekends. And it can't be done. It can't be done. So all those tribes out there, not just Giame, all of us need to be working towards having income 
in income so that we are able to employ members of the tribe. I'm not saying that the whole tribe got to be. I'm not saying that the whole tribe got to be. It would be optimal, but you got to start somewhere. We have to start somewhere. We have to start somewhere. And I know, I know some of y'all like, oh, there you go, here we go again. But I have to keep bringing this home. I have to bring it home to you. So when we sitting up here, see, because I want you to understand, I don't just ask at GM, we don't just ask for, for donations. I don't want your donation. Thank you, though. I would rather exchange what we have for what you have. Because once again, that gets into our principles, that principle of reciprocity. We want to make sure at Giami Journey, we are always meeting your value. We are always adding value to you. Certain goals that I have, right? I told you already, I want to take a train trip from, 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 from Ohio to the west coast from the west coast to the east coast take a group of people get off the train get on a plane and fly to ghana and start a trip over in ghana of west africa and possibly end it somewhere like in east africa looking at some pyramids It's all possible because there's people doing it all the time. Very possible. And I'm going to be able to do the daily toast every day with my people. The time going to vary because we're going to be moving through different time zones. I'm late anyway. <laughs> so y'all ain't used to no one time anyway. Because the work that I do, the work that I eventually will be doing, I'll be able to do it out there in the road. And I want you to understand, I'm not going to be the first employee of Giami Journey Media. Or the first full-time employee of Giami Journey Media. It's not going to be me. We need outreach. We need, you know what I'm saying? We need we need somebody out there that's going to that's gonna be willing, that's not shy, to get out there and talk to people and get information and start building databases and start being able to have connections and meet with people that want to run for, for politics. You know what I'm saying? Because the key piece that we want to be able to do, we want to be a major influence in whatever city we're in. And that should be the that should be the goal of every tribe. A major influence, not only on our children, because that's very important, right? Because we definitely, I definitely want to get to a point where my children can see that there is a possibility that they can that that Giami is all that they need. And I know y'all like, well, what do you mean, brother Hot Tim? I want them to be able to see that somebody in Giami is doing well. And it's not because they're going going to, to work somewhere else. It's because it's Giami that's provided. It's the membership and it's just and it's the support network that Giami has developed that's working it. Great Ujima to you as well, uh, brother Kwame. So where the ran at, brother Hot Tim? Where the damn ran at, man? Bring the heat. Bring the heat. Bring the heat. So, saying all that, getting off. Because I know I, I took it from the astronomer last night a little bit. But let me move into something else. So, this morning I get up to do my studies to get ready for the show. Because, you know, I go through I go through the news. Look through my, my, my news timeline. Didn't see anything that was really interesting. I'm going to have to change it up a little bit. A lot of foolishness going on and stuff like that a lot of stuff going on with bitcoin i remember because we told you a giami journey don't invest for the short term invest for the long term don't invest large amounts invest small amounts over time you know what i'm saying and use a percentage of your portfolio to kind of like for example use uh between 10 and 20 percent of your portfolio to do some of those gambling so if you're not really familiar with uh cryptocurrency but you have 
um, stocks or you got real estate. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Liquidate like 10 to 20 percent of that to play with that stuff that you that might interest you. You know what I'm saying? Because like, for example, if you was the if you was have if you were to were to get into Bitcoin or some of these other altcoins and you don't know nothing about them and you say, OK, cool, it's earning a lot. Let me go and put all my money in there. And then all of a sudden, because you got in when it was at 50,000 right now, you had a loss. So the only thing you could do is either sell and take the loss or hold out for the next for the next rally because there's going to be another rally. It might be about three years from now. But this is going to be another rally of of, of Bitcoin. This is going back up. But the point is, you only gamble with like ten to twenty percent of your money if that's if, if you want to look at it like that. Like you put that on like risk risky stocks because ten to twenty percent. If you lose that, you still got the 80% to fall back on and you got the 80% earning. You know what I'm saying? So we play, we play with the, we, we play with the small, with the small end of the scale because that small end, if it hits, it's going to hit big. If it loses, oh well. You know what I'm saying? Oh well. You know what I'm saying? But brother, I tell you, what if I got a hundred thousand? You know what I'm saying? And you invest 20,000 in something like a new coin and that coin loses okay you lose twenty thousand your eighty thousand is still earning money because you hopefully you ain't just sitting on cash because none of us should be sitting on cash but that ten to twenty percent that you put into that coin if that coin goes up a little guess what happens to the money that you put into it or you put it on that new stock that you heard about that new stock that you've been researching right you put it on there and it goes up and you sell it you win big. But if it goes down, you lose small. Right? But anyway. The rant. So, I was watching a video. And I'm going to post up the video now because it's another video that I'm supposed to post from. Um, well, I'm going to post this video right now. I was watching Roland Martin. Yeah, and I know some people are like, oh, Roland, you, oh, brother, I tell him you should be watching. No, uh, I watch everybody. I feel like I learn from everybody. Um, and Roland was. You want support, Roland? Roland, I, I, I just want to share. I'm going to share a video to, to our Giami timeline. Foolishness. Fool. Foolishness. Make sure I spell it. Nope, that's not right. Let's see. Is it going to be ever corrected? Foolishness. I'm posting it up on our Giami timeline right now. So those of you, y'all go to Giami and you can check it out. Now, he was arguing with a GOP mom over racism in America. Critical race theory and um, racism in America. Now, first off, it's a black woman. Nice looking black woman too. You know what I'm saying? I can't, you know, nice looking black. I love me some black women. God damn it. Lord have mercy. Beautiful black woman. But the shit that was coming out her mouth made her so goddamn ugly. Right? Because family. In Giame, I talk about ignorance. And ignorance for us is a little bit different than it is for the rest of the world. Because <laughs> stupid is just, you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? Stupid, you don't know. But you run your mouth anyway. You just stupid. You know what I'm saying? So stupid is not knowing, but still talking about it and i do that sometime all of us at some point in time are stupid about something you know what i'm saying it's like we have very little knowledge about something but yet we still talk that's stupid right a lot of people but you know that's 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 ignorant no no for us in geometry because the root the root word for ignorance is ign ignore an ignorant person is worse than a stupid person. What do you mean, Brother Hatim? Because a stupid person is speaking about some shit they don't know. 
But when you inform a stupid person about the situation, what happens a lot of times is that either in that moment or with them walking away, they will get some learning and be able to, to discuss with it will discuss with you later and become a more knowledgeable person. So stupid can be cured. Ignorance for us is a disease that is self-inflicted. And it's all based on knowing the truth, hearing the truth, but ignoring that shit. You'll hear the truth and you will ignore everything. You, you have cognizant dissonance and you will ignore all the truth that's right in front of you. And you will have a full-fledged debate, argument, throw down, fight, and ignore everything that anybody else is saying. Your remedy is talking louder than everybody else, blanking out the truth, going crazy, going insane, because what is being said is it is insults you, so you'll hang up. Or you, I mean, we are familiar with these behaviors in our community because we are surrounded by ignorance. Our people, in no form or fashion, are stupid. We understand what we're facing. When it comes to white supremacy, we understand what we're facing. It's just the fact that we ignore <laughs> we ignore the truth. And we teach our children to ignore the truth. And we convince ourselves to ignore the truth. We allow our enemies to ignore the truth. And we will support them in them ignoring the truth. And what I saw this morning, watching rolling tussles with the black GOP mom over critical race theory, racism in America, was ignorance in full display. How could you be black in America and say some of the shit that was coming out this woman's mouth, I could never understand. We all have experienced it. Well, you can listen to somebody because even, family, even if you have not experienced racism in your life in the last 10 years, in the last 20 years, in the last 30 years, you can see the systematic effects of what we are up against. Whether you call it racism, whether you call it white supremacy, whatever you call it, you can see the systematic, the endemic marks of a system where black people or those that are categorized as black Ideas, opinions, and lives are minimized so that white people's lives can become the central theme out of which everybody operates. Where white people's benefits or West Asians' benefits are put before everyone else's. So what? You haven't been pulled over in a police car, by a police car, because you've been driving. And you've been driving for years and it never happened to you. But for you to look at any of these institutions, for you to work in some of these institutions and in some of these places, and to say that you have not experienced or have not seen the effects of the system 
is you operating in pure 100% ignorance. You have allowed yourself. You are, how can I, you, you, you are operating with dissonance. So when you get a chance and, and you feel like being frustrated for about 48, 49 minutes, because Roland is trying to convince her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because, you know, Roland is a good, you know, and, and, and he showed an extreme amount of patience with her. Because I would have hung up on her ass, I swear to God. I would have hung up on her and I would have been called, I probably would have been calling her bitches and all types of, this bitch is crazy. I don't know what it is. I, I'm just saying, we have to know our limits. <laughs> we have to know our limits, family. We have to know our limits. And that bitch was crazy. And I wouldn't have been able to deal with her. You know what I'm saying? At least not from where I'm sitting right now. I probably would in in person. You know, I, you know, I'm a, I'm pretty kind. I'm a kind dude. You know, but I would have been trying to convince her. But Roland spent an extreme amount of time trying to get her to see some of the flaws in what she was saying. And you just got frustrated listening to her. I started talking to the goddamn to my phone. You know what I'm saying? You know, I you know, so but that's my rant for the day. I mean, I don't know how long that was. That was too damn long. War horn. <laughs> Let's get our ass on over here. Let's do this toast. We about to do this toast. Uh, family, we have um, Blunt Talk coming up tonight. Blunt Talk coming up tonight. So be sure, be sure to join us. Be sure to join us for Blunt Talk um, at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be streaming straight from GNJ. Dot media gnj dot media of course i'm gonna have the intro screen so you know y'all be able to see it on all the other channels but you know that you know boom once that tick once that timer gets down to zero i might not be able to oh yeah i'll be able to do the timer once that timer gets down to zero you need to make you need to make way over <laughs> you need to make way over to gnj dot media because i personally will not be streaming. And if I'm in charge of stream, I'm not streaming anywhere else but gnj.media. Now the live shit, what, what happens when I post up afterwards, that's not live. We're going live on gnj.media. You want to talk to the Blunt Talk crew, you want to talk to Brother Hot Tim, you want to talk to any of us, you'll be talking to us live on gnj.media. Nowhere else. Because nowhere else deserves to have us. Um, Brother Kwame said, can't waste my time on an asinine, steadfast, determined, want to be ignorant person, right? They just practicing, uh, you know, Kwame, it's cool. They just practicing Kooji Chagalia. <laughs> Kooji Chagalia gone wrong. That's all it is. That's all it is. We have to learn to see our principles and everything. They just, they, they, they got a little, they got a little Coogee Chagalia sprinkle backwards. You know, it's just, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? We can make it work. But anyway, we about to get and do this toast. I'm drinking right now. What I'm drinking is, I'm drinking that, that Giamme coffee right now. You know what I'm saying? You, well, actually, this is bulletproof with a little mushroom in it. Because I still don't have my, my secret ingredient. And you know what? I did forget to put some ambrosia in this. Let me make some corrections right now. I Oh, and the reason I forgot was because I woke up and my blender was broke. And I'm sitting up here, you know, and, and, and you know, rather than looking for blame, I'm like, the, I bought a cheap ass blender. I'm going to find a way to get my money back and I'm going to get me, I'm going to get me a, a, a better blender. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to get it from a place where I could, I could drive my car and take that shit back. I don't know, this shit came from China or somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna, you know, just, all right, cool. You on the scrap, scrap heap of Giami journey and shit, nigga. I'm, I'm not even gonna, 
we're not even gonna argue about this. Um, anyway, so so my blender broke, and um, it kind of it kind of threw my day off, right? Because but what's good about it is that um, sometime today, sometime today, because I'm gonna take some time. I don't think I'm gonna swim today. Well, anyway, well, I might have to swim today because uh, Gigi didn't get to swim yesterday. So I think I might have to go back um, uh, to the pool and try to swim another lap and give them some time in the pool because she didn't get a chance to to swim yesterday. So I think I'm going to have to do a, another run today and go out there and try to swim. The argument between Black Lightning and his daughter is somewhat similar to what you're, you were describing. But wh which one? Which daughter... Because he was arguing with both of them. And which season? Because I stopped. I might have stopped around season two. Um, I might, matter of fact, I might not even, I might not even went all the way through season two. But you know, it's, you know, um, was it, was he arguing with China McLean, the younger one, or was he arguing with that finer, older one? The one that could, the one that could hold her breath and have superpowers. She could hold her breath with me anytime. If you out there, girl, go on, come over here, hold your breath with Brother Hot Tim. I want to see how strong you are. You know what I'm saying? Because I bet your superpower can't match mine. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Man. Oh. But anyway. But yeah. You know what I'm saying? Those type of arguments, it get crazy. You, 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 you but... You know, I, I we ain't gonna spend our whole time on that on that on that foolishness. Cause I gotta get over here to my adventure. I got a whole I got I mean I got so much shit to do. Um and I'm almost at the end of this week and I only I'm only gonna have a few days next week to get it done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go in and do a couple of hours during oh, we got a Giami meeting. By the way, we got a Giami meeting. Um this Kaumba. We'll be meeting over, and hold on. We just got a message in our WhatsApp. Hold on. This is crazy. Hold on. Okay. Sam Mechanic Shop. Uh, damn. We just got a message. Uh. Okay, I thought we got a message, but my tele... Oh, Telegram. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. They got all my connections on Telegram. I guess I'm going to have to start learning how to use this damn thing. Ooh. Ooh. I could do a... Ooh. Hold on. I could form a... Okay. Up, I could form a group of up to 200,000 members. All right. See, because one of the things I was looking for was, huh. so let me work with this. What is the channel? Channel are a one to many two for broadcasting your message to unlimited audiences. Create a channel. Huh. I think we're about to create us up because I was looking for a two where I could go on and text, direct text. So I'm going to link one of I'm going to link. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Telegram. I see you. I see you interrupted. Don't interrupt my show again. All right. This says, hello, Giami Media. My name is Chizoro Okiki. I got this number off and off of ASCAC. I am in Jacksonville, Florida, Florida, and trying to mix ASCAC and Marcus Garvey movement in the U.S. to South America and Caribbean Africa. We want to create cultural association ID cards and get the same reparation movement that Native Americans got. We think reparation is tied to repairing. Um, tied to repairing African kingdoms that lost their sovereignty. Huh. All right. Chizaro Okeke. Okiki. We're going we're gonna to respond back to that. What y'all think about that? Let me read that again for you, Brother Kwame. Hello, Giame Media. My name is Chizoro Okeke. I got this number off of ASCAT. 
I am in Jacksonville, Florida and trying to mix ASCAT and the Marcus Garvey movement in the U.S. to South America, the Caribbean, and Africa. We want to create cultural association ID cards and get the same reparation movement that Native Americans got. We think reparation is tied to repairing African kingdoms that lost their sovereignty. Now, now the argument ain't even an argument because we could work with the brother because he has a good idea with the ID cards. That's something that the 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 uh, ADOS, the cultural movement, that movement. That part of our movement that is looking for reparations. Those of us that's looking for reparations, we do have to start establishing our own, um, our, in a sense, our own identity and our um, and our connection to um, the experience of Jim Crow in America, as well as the experience of slavery in America. We do need to establish that, and we can make it a lot easier if we was to start doing that ourselves, right? started that work ourselves now what he's talking about is repairing african kingdoms that lost their sovereignty now the chances of america doing that are far less than america uh, um than america doing reparations for those of us that have a direct link to jim crow and the slavery institution. Now we might not want to say that we have a connection to the slavery institution, but that the 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 fact of it, the fact of the matter is that we have a direct link. Many of us have a direct link to the institution of slavery and to the building of this country. Right? So we could work with the brother. I'm gonna send him something. Um we think reparations is tied to repairing African kingdoms, you know, that that shit right there. I mean, I ain't going to say it can't happen because, shit, we thought reparations with many of us, you know, I'm going to speak for myself. When I first heard about in Cobra, I'm like, ain't going to never pay us. You know, back in the early, um, my fault, the late 80s, early 90s. I'm like, oh, shit, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't going to say never, but I'm just saying, I, I, I believe that the reparations piece is a, is a strong piece to hit, but we need to hit it on us being... Um, American descendants of slavery or foundational America. However, whatever you whatever title you want to give it, because as far as Yami, we do need to have cars, establish our lineage here and, and stuff like that. We do, you know what I'm saying? And I would suggest that rather than him focusing on South America, the Caribbean and Africa, we need to build up our networks here. You know what I'm saying? Start at home first. Start Start with your family and your tribe where you are. See, because this is one of the issues that I run into. Um, and if I was not to get back in touch with the brother, one of the reasons that I probably would not, if I was not, but I'm on I'm gonna text him, is the fact that a lot of our visions start off so damn big. <laughs> and I was guilty of that too. This brother probably about between twenty five and thirty. A lot of our visions start so big that we will never be able to manifest the whole vision. And I'm saying, look, keep the larger vision, but how do you build the building blocks up to where you want to go? America in particular, the U.S. of America, the U.S. of America, right. African kingdoms are also U.S. right here in, African kingdoms were also in U.S. right here in the Americas, in particular U.S. of America. Um, he said, just watched an episode for first time yesterday. Char made me. Man, it, shit, that, you talking about the Black Lightning? Black Lightning was cold. Oh, okay. Oh, he went back into the argument. Hold on. He gave us some more detail about the argument. The argument between Black Lightning and his daughter is somewhat similar to what you're describing. Arguments regarding interests of personal family members, well-being of daughters, and best interests of the community. When and where does one draw the line? Just watch an episode. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like the first season. That sounds like the first season. All right, so now, we ain't even get to the toast. But, you know, we getting, like I said, family, we making noise as far as Giamme. Right, so we can invite him into the family, we can invite him into the family. We can help him build a tribe that can help him push his agenda. Cause once one of the things you got to understand, family, you you don't build as an individual. 
you build institutions. Try family, try, let's so try first, family. F tribe is institution building. Tribe is an institution. Tribe is a business, it's an institution. Uh, all right, y'all got it? So let's go and do this toast so I get up out of here because I'm getting crazy texts as y'all can hear. It's time for Brother Hot Tim to hit these screeks. Not the internet screeks, those screeks in that office, right? Getting that work done. Got to get that work done. Got to get that work done. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's an impossible task. So it's going to take me about seven days. You know, impossible take me about a week and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because who would have thought that my ass would be running again? You know what I'm saying? I'm 53 years old. I've been smoking like a chimney. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I, who would have who thunk it? And also, another piece that's going to be coming up is that Brother Quasi wants, wants us to organize, which we're going to do. He wants to organize um, a warrior run. A warrior run. Right? Um, where we run for about for some miles run or bike or maybe in maybe for it might be both and then also do uh, uh get a you know have a kayak that we go on and paddle back and at the end we have another feast you know what i'm saying boom once all of once all the warriors um uh, i thought i pushed stop recording i know i pushed stop recording i pushed stop recording so um so once all of the warriors, you know what I'm saying, get to uh get get to a certain point, you know what I'm saying, we'll we'll feast. And when we say warriors and Giamma, you already know we ain't just talking about men, goddamn it. Cuz we need we need some we need some uh warrior princesses. We need some warrior some warrior women cuz you know our enemy certainly has them. You know what I'm saying? Um let me do something real quick. And then we will, where you at? I want you to come up. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm about to, my computer might slow down a little bit, but, you know, I'm doing something for the show real quick. Um, we're going to go, we're going to log in. But um, we're about to lift up our glass. We're about to do our toast. Like y'all know, we do every day here at Jami Journey. We've been doing it every day for the last five years. Thanks to the support, you know what I'm saying? We've been able to get busy with it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's crazy. It's crazy all the, I mean, the support we've been getting, I mean, it's crazy. And family, we want to we wanna thank you. Um, that's why we did the feast. We did the feast, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, man, family, y'all, you know, and y'all came out and, and we had, and, and y'all, and we showed out. We had a, we had a very, very good time. And I want to um, thank all of you. I want to thank all of you from um, the bottom of my heart and from the top of my mind and from the depths of my soul. Damn, that was a hell of a thank you, Brother Hot Tim. I know. I'm good. I'm good. Kwame, was that a good thank you, man? Was that you? You know, don't get jealous. Don't get jealous. You know what I'm saying? Don't get jealous, cause you know your yeah, you know your thank you wasn't ain't quite that deep. It's cool though. I I understand. Let me say this is my Ujima rant. I just need to rename it. What's the date? The 23. I'm gonna keep that on there. Ujima rant. Keep the date. Boom. There we go. And we gonna open it up. Said file not found. What you mean file not found? Okay, we gonna boom. There you go. Bet you find it now. Better ask somebody. So let's get to it. Let's get to our toast. Here we go, family. For those, let me give you an advance. For those that are new that you want to add your ancestors to the list, by all means, feel free to add your 
add your ancestors to the list. You can hit us up at uh, on any of our social medias inboxes, or you can um, get on our email list. And and once you hit get the email sent to you, you can go on and just click respond, and you can send us your ancestors. Um, if you know anybody personal in Giami journey, you know what I'm saying? You can hit them up and get them your ancestors and we will gladly add them to the list. The only thing we ask in Giami journey is to be mindful of other people, um, having ancestors to add to the list, especially if you're going to be somebody who just, in a sense, you know, do, do ancestors like we do old people and children, just drop them off and go handle the rest of our lives and shit. You know, because that's that's the American way, whether y'all know it or not. In America, you warehouse your children um, for the, the first part of their life from zero to about, you know, 18, 19, 20 years old. And then you pay for warehousing or you, they earn a scholarship for more warehousing outside of the family so that they could be further indoctrinated. Right. And then they go to the workforce. You know what I'm saying? And then they drop off their children to go through the same indoctrination. Right. And then the parents that indoctrinated them, they take them um, and put them in a home when they are no longer youthful to the society and youthful to the family. And rather than the family take care of them, we'll pay other people outside of our culture outside of our family to take care of them and we'll warehouse them until they die and then we'll pay other people money well actually in the black community we do a good i guess we do a pretty good job of controlling um the burying of the dead so i think that's how some money is recirculated in our community so at least we get some benefit out the cycle but we got to understand the cycles that we are in the best life is achieved by engagement with systematic processes and the best life is achieved by understanding the systematic processes that you are involved with. Please understand that we're housing our babies so that they, they could be indoctrinated by our enemies to become ignorant like the woman I just got done talking about. Where they can learn to ignore the truth and become comfortable with ignoring that truth. And then live their whole life to find out that they're useless at the end of their life. Even though they have... Uh, a lifetime worth of experience. There's no room for them in the family house. There's no family houses. We are all taught to be individuals. There's no family house. I think about it. You know what I'm saying? I take that back because I know of two family houses right now with people that are watching Giami Journey Media right now. But a majority of us in our community, we don't have family houses no more. We got our own spots. We got our own spots because we got our own spots. All our money is spread out and we're paying all these other people to exist and we're not bringing our money together. Family, we need to get back to family housing and generational housing. There was a there's a book by Malcolm Gladwell called Outliers where at the beginning of the book and maybe we might need to go through that beginning chapter at the beginning of the book it's about a small city where people only died of old age and scientists went in to try to figure out why these people was only dying of old age they thought it was because of where they was from so they went back and traced the roots of the city in this city you know what i'm saying was a small italian city so they went back to italy where this group of people came because you know when people came to america they got with their group they got with who they knew who would have thought that? You know, coordinary, we, we all just, okay. But anyway, they went back there and they found that the people, that the village that they came from were dying just like everybody else in the world. So that wasn't it. So they thought it was their diet or it was the soil that they was living around. And it, and they, they did all these experiments and blah, blah, blah to find out. Why these people were only dying of old age. They thought, well, maybe they had a natural, healthy lifestyle. No, but these motherfuckers was drinking and smoking like everybody else. But people were still dying of old age. And they couldn't figure out why people were dying of old age. Until one person or somebody came and noticed that they was all living in houses with up to three and possibly four generations of family living together. 
I don't think y'all heard me. I don't think y'all heard me. The reason these people was dying of old age, part of the reason that these people was dying of old age was because they kept the family and the tribal connections. And this family and these tribal connections allow for people to feel useful all the way throughout their lives. So they had a reason. Their bodies and their minds and their spirits had a reason to fight off cancer. Do you know that a person with a purpose, right? A person with a purpose, even with a sickness in their body, will be able to push through and in many cases be able to conquer the sickness that's in their body because they got purpose. That's near. That, isn't that one of our principles? Isn't that one of our principles? Can we find that principle somewhere? Ain't that one of our principles? Right? That's one of our principles. Purpose. So when you give babies purpose, they have jobs, they have responsibilities. They serve a purpose in the family and in the tribe. They grow up to be powerful individuals. Why? Because their whole life has been led by purpose. And as they get older, they really start discovering what their purpose is. And they go on and jump into it wholeheartedly because they got the support of a whole family and a tribal system. And elders live longer and die of old age and not from sickness. They die of old age because they serve a purpose or they served a purpose in that community. They were the rule keepers. They were the history keepers. Sometimes they might have been the cooks and sometimes they might have been the ones to watch the babies. So everybody served a purpose. So when somebody died, they didn't expire because they felt useless. They didn't drift away with, with all timers because they felt useless and they constantly had to use their mind. And they felt the love and the joy from being able to walk in a community that spoke them when they walk down the street. Mm, mm, mm. But I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. Family, let's get to the toast. First off, we want to lift up our glass to our creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift up our glass and we salute the creator. And of course, we, we, we say with a loud resounding ashe. Anime, I said, I say. All right, you was kind of slow, but I appreciate you. From there, we move to our list of our ancestors. We lift up our glass. We salute each and every last one of our ancestors as we do on a daily basis. Here we go. Oh, affiliates. Um... Kwame, you need to hit me up about your affiliate link because uh, Dentista, was, he went on one of his rants again and he just started cussing me out. I said, well, Dentista, I didn't know that. So Dentista can plug our affiliate links into a link with gnj.media. You believe that shit? He ain't never tell me that. He just told me that the, he just told me when he went on his rant. Why are you wasting money? Blah blah blah. You could be, you got an unlimited amount. Then he texts me back when I tell him what I want to do. He said, "Hey man, you did, did it's not email address. You just can't pass it out like candy." I said, "If I can have an unlimited amount, this is the words that your nerd ass use. Unlimited amounts, right? I could have an unlimited amount of subdomains." Then I can't hand that shit out like candy. So stand down with your young ass. <laughs> nigga, I know how to come back on. I'm like, nigga, don't hit me with the nerd talk and then use words like unlimited, infinite, and, and think, you know, nigga, when you say that to me, 
That means I can't hand that shit out like candy. If it's a limited amount, you need to let me know. But if it's an unlimited amount, I'm handing that shit and using it like candy. It's like candy. I can see it when you walk. Even when you talk, it takes over me. Right? Anyway, so we lift up our glass. We salute. Um, we salute our ancestors. Here we go. Miles Brown, Miss Ann Robin. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where we at? I'll be right back, y'all. Minute by minute. Call on the ancestors. Are they done? All right, here we go. We got our ancestors. We got Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert, the Texan, the Davis, Herman Brown, Senior, Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Chris, Benny, Gas, and Eileen, Uncle Chris, and Fiend, Cleveland, and Geneva Brown, Mark, Ray Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, of our Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown, the second part, Twigs, Wash Ellis, Kelly Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah, Tapping, John Falar, Montague, Pippen, El Nomo, Exit, Pat Mile, Rob Malika, Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Coach Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dix, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf, Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Bro, for Actor Junior, J. Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lurdy, Ines Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Dale Gale, Pulling and Alexa, Brother, Miss Ela Brooks, Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley, Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Jennifer Falls, Charles Jordan, Kel Smith, Walt Smith, Rich Trick, French Johnson, May Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Daniel Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Renneman, Virginia Rogers, Rem Jane Smith, Louis Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Mark Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Mel Dale Hodge, Mel Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird B.D. Sell, Welly, Vita Farmer, Ango, Susu, Shell, Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theodore Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dixon, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merrill B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joy and Thorne, Eric Trisha Lewis, Monita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Fred Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther, Keisha Larice, Linda Watson, Hammonds, Gerald Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Seven Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Percy Moore, Mildred Orange, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hitter Pearson, Sturgeon Thorne, Richard Thorne, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Marcel, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thorne, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thorne, Frankie Quells, Urania Thorne, Bernie Squells, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Will, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hadley, Hadley, Hadley Levesta, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, El Domitette, Wellman, Fred Douglas, Triggs, the second being the Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy Mayer, Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Richard Lockhart, Brennan Porter, Deacon Hargo, Carlos Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, D'Amico Russ, Diddy Monet, Gina Rube Jones, Jana Callahan, 
You got William Walter West, Nigel Parrish, Elder Basigi Fulani, Jim Robson, Baz Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Denise Waters, Dupreetus Irons, Anna Bostic, Anna Bostic, Winifred Scannerberry, Wilson Haley, Emma Hine, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spradling, Kevin Spradling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup Jr., Miriam Miriam Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, Edith Kennedy, Janice Carter, Mark Carter, Liam Pina, Carter, Mark Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Nailon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holm, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Pitt, Warren, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, R.G. Finch, William Billis Lee Jr., Jennifer Sensible, Hazel Gasson, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Kathy Bradford, Thomas Bradley, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Gypsy, got Reverend Roosevelt Word the First, Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, Dave Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Walla Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Herbert, Irene Johnson, Francis Booth Jepson, Dan Wilkerson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jay Doyle, Amina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G. 2 Gibson, Donnie Hill, Richard Glebus, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Crochet, George and Halley, Johnson, Archie Morgan Armstead, Don Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, uh, Becca Alexander, Arthur Arnold, Heidi Reed, Charles Reed, Yulan Andrew Baker, Patricia Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hash, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Harry Tubman, the case, Mr. Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, at the Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino, Baby Hatch, Hatch, Hatch Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleaver, Mother Gibson, Axe Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Fred Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Denise Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Manny and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Cooper, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary France, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harris, Mark Towns, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. Heap Sr., Abel Moore, Miss Vanilla, Miss Vanilla, Alvis Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Norton Houston, Lud Oz, Elijah Oz, Jerome. Jerome Alls, Elijah, wait, Elijah, Jerome Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, hold on, all right, let's go back to Nana, Baba Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, J.C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Monroe Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruth Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Irvin, Harold Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Carwell Sr., Robert Lee Carwell, Nevada Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Robert, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rashawn Easley, Javel McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shekamaha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward Benson Sr., Edward, Edward Benson Sr., Ethel McNair, Ethel McNair. Ah, I messed up. Hold on. We almost made it, family, but it's cool. So I want to make sure that I get uh, we got Alvis Motley, Joe Dean Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Ernestine Houston, Lud Oz, Elijah Oz, Jerome Oz, and West Staten, Joe Jamel Oz, and Pierce, Donna Carly, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Bond, John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Tim Butler, Raymond Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton, C. and Bob and Naeem. And we went from there. We did um, Jeanette Sanders, J.C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brownlee, C. and Wilson, Rupert Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Captain Sanders, Maria Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Mark Armstead, Captain Anthony, Ruby Brown, and the Armsteads we do already. So I'm going to take them out because that kind of puts me in a loop because they on the other side where I'm doing. Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Don Irvin, Harun Phillips, William Ford, Mark Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Liam C., Michael Irvin, Lozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Caldwell Sr., Robbie Lee Caldwell, Nevada Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easy, Rashawn Easy, Javier McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Chakamaha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel, Ethel H. McNair, I had it in my head, but I couldn't get it out. Louis Fernandez, Jacqueline Broaddus, Reginald Alvaro, Mazarin Cooper, George Swan, Imani Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles H. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards McNabb, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby McClendon. Now we move to the Black Book. We got Joella Giles, James Carswell, Liberta Adams, also known as Ancestors. We got Elder Shaka McNair. We got Anthony Brown, Jonathan Ford, Lydie Gaucher, Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, Jane, Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Shane Lewis, Ronald Sheldon Jr., Damian Todd with Stephen Banks, Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham Isaac Cundiff, Aunt Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson, Joey Ryan Ross Ringers, Jamonte, Marcus Price, Ness Words, Marshawn McHale, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Eric Walker, Quay Semple, Candace Simmons, Leonard, um, Candace Simmons, Candace Simmons. 
Hmm, I forgot one. Herb Jefferson. I forgot where I was. Oh, Candace Simmons, Simon Clayton in the Jones, Sade Garner, Melvin Scott Sr., the Clarence Love, Elizabeth Johnson, Mr. Thornton, Johanna. Johanna. Justine Lynette Lewis, Anderson Mosley, Charles Jordan, Henry S. is the second, Fanny L. Webb, Dan Walton, Al Alti, Sue Walton, Emma Walton, James Randolph, Giles, Sonny, Pete Watson, Wee Walton, Fred Powers, Elijah Juan Hakeem and Coma, Alberta T. Davis, Charles Davis, Willie R. Mackey, Dr. Cream, Mackey, Victor Bowden, Drusilla, Kitty Berger, Lucy White, Robert Lee White, Emma Jean White, Talton, Roger White, R.L. White, Jesse White, Ruby Jewel White, Johnson Carl White, Desi Woods, Chillard Woods, Lennox, Jim Woods, Lizzie Woods, Juanita Alexander Brown, Cynthia Ann Wright, Richard Dorsey, Andy Simpson, Jamal Simpson, Regina Hopkins, Joseph Simpson, Nate Dorsey, Andrew Hopkins, Edward Webster, Ellis Webster, Ivy Webster, Nella Willis, Ethel Lane, Samantha DeMond, Ethel Marshall, Steve, Dougie Shelton, William Bill Walker, Carl Rico Johnson, Kim Stewart. No, Kim Gray, Stuart A. Johnson. We got Edward Young III, Isaac Jackson Sr., Drusilla Merle, Wayne Young, Christine Young, Thomas Young, Frank Merle, Sylvester Paulson, James Lizzie Winston, Abel Julia Lawrence, Jose L. Sr., Gladys Corporal, Jose L. Jr., Geneva Jackson, R.J. Lacey, also known as Tooth to Don, Sylvia Winston, Chris Kenny, Margaret Mentor, Mary Smith, one at Florine Steph Gibbs, Carl William Duncan Jr., Jenny Callahan, Danny Hill, Miko D. Nice, Andre Martin, Mabel Williams, Terry Brown, Teresa Biddle, Lavonna Kincaid, Carla Sawyer, Reverend Jesse Porter, Deacon Ezekiel Dennis, Brenda Porter, Craig Lee Jones, Granny Beulah, Papa Al Reesling, Annette Smith, George Gamble Sr., Joseph Gear, Lashonda Jamal, Leroy Raleigh, Mona Yolanda Hunter, Ron Patrice Turner, Herman Reeves, Amanda Reeves, Josh Reeves, Nina Kate, Pam Johnson, Vera Reed Fisher, Jerry Joseph McCallop, also known as Mama Moon, Sheila Ann Lee, Panchita Alba, Donna Brooks, Barbara Moses, Ida Spade, Eric Branson, Eric Winston, Darren Bridges, Francisco Matisse, also known as Sonny, Charles Stevenson Jr., King Pleasant, Sarah Keat, Lena Shepard, Bradell Willard, Mabel Haskins, Wilbur Shepard, Dennis Jackson, William Haskins, Geraldine Jackson, Henry Jackson Sr., Edward Jones, Leslie Travis, Charlize Barnes, Juan Lewis Taylor, Malin Yates, June Dandridge, Daisy Wilfork, Frederick Smith, James and Amanda Baldwin, Linda Williams, Sally Williams, Vivian Stevenson, Irene Harris, Kelly Williams, Abu Scales, Pat Williams, Mrs. Bertha Walker, or Mrs. Bertha Walker, Tony Ogletree, Grandma Marguerite, Tracy Emery, Hassan Abdul Razak, Vivian Johnson, B.J. Jones, Abigail Robaledo, Monterosa, Chet Word, Mama Rahani, and Deborah Michelle Nash. Family. We lift up our glass and we salute each and every last one of our ancestors as we do on a daily basis here on the journey. And we raise our glass and we say, Ashe. From there, where do we go? Very simple journey. We're going to move straight into the present moment because we are far behind time. I started running my mouth. We are on the day of Ujima. Um, of course, y'all know we got blunt talk tonight, as you can see by my shirt. God damn it, I quit. Um, Ujima, collector work and responsibility. That's what it means. I ask you to open up your reticular formation and seek out our principles because that is what we have to do. We got to learn to see our principles in, in everything, even in some of the fuckery. Like I said this morning, homegirl had just, she had, she had um, uh, Kooji Chaglia. She just was using it in the wrong way. <laughs> so for those who don't speak the language Ujima means collective work responsibility righteousness is the mindic law respect is what we call what we use it um, is how we use it in the M7 blue is the color as you can see by the beautiful blue on my shirt vibration is the hermetic law male name for the day is Kweku female name is Akul we lift up our glass we salute and we say the word of power around these parts we say I say from there we do a simple journey we move to our future generation we toast our children our children's children onto infinity and we say ashe from there we move and we lift up all of our relations and of course we say ashe From all of our relations, from all of our relations, we simply move over and we open up the toast. This is that special toast. Who do you want? Who do you need to send energy to? 
What do you want to send energy to? We lift up that toast. We call this that special toast. What is it that you want to dedicate some of this energy to? We lift up our glass. Come on now. Ashe. From there, we move to that selfish toast. We move to that selfish toast. That selfish toast. Are you ready? That selfish toast. This is for you. We want to lift up our glass. I want to ask you, what is it that you seek? What is it that you need right now in this moment to move towards your greatness? We lift up our glass and we say, I say. From there, we lift up our tribe. My tribe is Giami. I don't know what your tribe is. Hopefully, your tribe might be Giami too. You know what I'm saying? On you, one of those tribes we got peace with, we got a treaty with. We lift up our glass. We say, I say. Say your, say your tribe. Say the name. I say. Last but not least, I want to toast the most beautiful, most inspiring, most uplifting and the most the bravest and the bravest and wisest individual room i lift my glass up to you i salute you and we say i say i say i say found it wish you peace power joy and 100 years all right family now those that's watching where it says tribe here let me go and change it real quick got a couple of things i want to cover before i get up out of here you can see now right here is the title of the show Right, right there, y'all see it say Ujima Toast, right, right at the top of your screen. But if you go down, it tell you a little bit about us. Welcome to our tribal home. Make yourself comfortable and let's build. Be sure to learn more about us at free GNJs, free GNJ You got all of our social media pieces. You click on there. We got our PayPal up there. We got our um, Cash App up there. We got our LinkedIn. We got our our. Uh, TikTok, we got, I mean, we got all of it up there, right? Got all of our little hashtags, right? The idea behind you, I mean, journey, training yourself, master, the uses of ancient, uh, ancient system called rites of passage, Tradi traditional rites of passage, were set up to stimulate the adventures of the hero's culture, of a hero's of cultures, my fault, I gotta go and correct that, the person that went through the experience basically retraced the steps of the mythic hero, or the hero's journey of the tribe to learn the lessons that held his or her tribe together, in order to accomplish this, the ancient people would take the initiate, young person, or person in transition through three basic steps, each step included more, but I have shortened the steps to give a basic understanding, first step is separation in and then next is initiation. Next is reintroduction. And I go through just quick, brief, you know, discussion of that. Oh, I got this up here twice, so I'm going to move that. Damn. Separation, initiation. Yeah. I got it. It's a little bit shorter, but all right. It's cool. But y'all go and check that out. Read that. Let me know what y'all think. Um, we will be setting up a 21-week process. 21 week process right all right family this is brother hot tim i'm up even candy has a collective what do you say what do you say Kwame? let me go on over here i gotta see what Kwame say oh i'm on it even candy has a cost eve A cost, even candy has a cost, Eve. I don't know. Oh, even candy has a cost. Ah, even candy has a cost. All right, cool, cool. I got you. Uh, but anyway, family, we about to get up. Yeah, I'm just finished drinking my ambrosia. Go get me a couple of bottles of this Phoenix food. Uh, they know. Um, this Giami Jail. I'm a. I gotta come up with a different name for it. But you know, get a kid because I got, I got two bottles that I'm gonna get. I was gonna make some more, but unfortunately, my 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 blender broke on me. Kind of shit is that, right? But family, this is brother Hot Tim. I want to thank y'all. Oh, why is it? Why is it zooming? Okay, because I'm looking at. 
All right, you can also check us out on giamijourney.com. We got that too. Got some of our stuff posted up over there. Hmm. Maybe I might just need to start posting up my extra stuff over here like that. Mm-hmm. Because when it posts up over here, then it posts up on Facebook. But there's something on Facebook I want to show y'all. But it's something while I'm over here, I'm going to check some stuff out too. I got some ads and I got to see if they produce it. They don't appear to be a producer. Uh, page likes 400%, up 400%. Keep it up, fam. Keep liking and sharing. Post engagements, 2,948 in the month. People reach 15,846. Those Kwanzaa numbers. Y'all wow, got us doing Kwanzaa numbers. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at you. Ain't mad at you at all. Y'all got us doing those Kwanzaa numbers. I like those Kwanzaa numbers. All right. Let's see what happened over the last five days. Last seven days. Let's see. Uh, all the numbers are in the red. But over the last 28 days, we've been balling. Look at that. They say, oh, down, you're down, you're down. All right. See, here she go. Look at her. She ain't, she ain't bad looking. Got that weave in. You know, she got that weave in, but she ain't bad looking at all. You know, rolling tussles with black GOP mom over a critical race theory. She wasn't even talking about critical race theory. This shit was crazy. All right, but anyway, not that I even know what critical race theory is, but she wasn't talking about that shit. All right, here go the show. I've been creating some flyers. Yeah, I like the flyers, you know. I can dig it. You know, she was streaming on here for a second. Then I cut it off. There we go. Another stream. All right. Uh, Jeremy Journey joined the tribe. When Jimmy, we are building. Okay. Dig it. The astronomer. There you go. Last night. Mm-hmm. Coogee Chagalia. Okay. Okay. Oh. So if I post it over there. It'll automatically post up on here. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because this is from giamijourney.com. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'm working it. I, my, mind, my mind is like a flower in bloom. I keep telling y'all. I'm just sitting up here thinking like, mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so here we go. All right, this is what I wanted to hit on right here. I want y'all to tell me what the painful truth. Now, I, I want y'all to listen to this. This is a dude by the name of Jordan Peterson. Just check this out real quick. This is off of YouTube. Um, this is a, a short, one of their shorts. But I want y'all to just, just listen to what this dude has to say. Tell me what you think. It's only a minute, and I'm gone. Nietzsche said that you could tell much about it a man's character by how much truth he could tolerate, which is very interesting. You know, there's an, an idea in, 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 the, in the great Western tradition that the truth is the way and the path of life, and, and that no one comes to the Father except through the truth. And, and I believe that to be the case, because I don't think that you can manifest who you are without the truth. And so I think it's, it's, it's literally and metaphorically true that the, the pathway to who you could be if you were completely who you were is through the truth. And I would say, and so the truth does set you free, but the problem is, is that it destroys everything that isn't worthy in you as it sets you free. And that's, that's a process of burning. What do you think? What do you think? Now, there's another one that this I guy, posted. Gotta... There's another one that I posted up. For some reason, it's not there. And uh, it was a very, very, very good one. And let me see why it didn't post. It didn't post. But I know where it's at. Hold on. Let me see. It's not here. Another one is by Jordan Peterson. 
And I want you to hear it from his words. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our hoot suite. Going to pull up that hoot suite. Going to log in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all just showing all my business. So now I got to go and change my code for Hootsuite. Because motherfucker looking at hungry eyes just looking at that shit. But on Hootsuite, those that don't have Hootsuite, it's what you could do with Hootsuite. You see that? Look at that. All my shit. All of Giamish stuff. Right? All right. Let me see if I posted it over here. About the robots that popped up. Robots were coming. Nope, nope, nope. It ain't there. Let me see. Why didn't it? Maybe I didn't post it. Maybe I'm screaming conspiracy. For no reason at all. But it should have posted. All right. Well, my man, Jordan Peterson, had another quote, and he got this quote from Carl Jung. And let me, let me just look up the quote for you. Hmm. All right, here's a quote from Carl Jung. Uh, because we cannot discover God's throne in the sky with a radio telescope or establish for certain that a beloved father or mother is still about in a more or less corporal form, people assume that such an ideas are not true. I would rather say that they are not true enough. He quoted, um, continue with Amazon, continue, what the hell is this? Get, get out of here. I just, oh my God, let me get off of that. I ain't giving y'all no more of my secrets. Let's see. All right. Let's see if Cora let us in. Nope. All right, let's get off of that one. The it's is very interesting. Carl Jung, modern people cannot see God because they won't look low enough. It means that people understand understate underestimate the importance of small things. They're not small. How your wife says hi to you when you come home that's not small because you come home all the time you come home three times a day so we can do the arithmetic let's say you spend so basically what homeboy is talking about is that we're missing god because we're looking for the big things we're looking for the big miracles and it's hard for modern man to to stumble onto god because we're not looking low enough we're not looking. We're not looking at the real shit. We're looking for some big miracle. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about the last video? Go on, post up some comments in in the chat or hit us up on face on our Facebook page. I'm gonna have to create something so we could continue. Ooh, maybe I might do a telegraph. Telegraph. All right, but invite invite some people. Yeah, let's do that. All right, family, this is Brother Hot Tim. I'm up, I'm out, and of course you know I'm running late. Shame on you, Brother Hot Tim. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Now, y'all need to let me know. Do y'all want, do y'all want, do y'all want some, um, oh, shit.
Oh, man. I'm so damn ashamed. All right. So I didn't even go live for it. So I'm going to upload that for uh, the people up on. Um, oh, my God. We didn't even do the toast today for. Um, I reached. Uh, oh, I'm so ashamed. But I'm out of here, family. I'm gone. Peace.